Good morning. Good morning. We're heading on out. We just left the lodge and we're going to go head to the approach trail. Yep, we're ready to start, officially really start our through hike journey. We are getting ready to head down the approach trail to finish off. Yep, so and head up to Springer today. Uh, today is Thursday, March 1st. It's about 45, maybe 50 degrees out this morning. Um, foggy, the rain and thunderstorms are coming in late morning, early afternoon. So we want to get out. It's like 7-ish. So We are so ready. Yes. So ready leaving the comforts of the lodge behind for at least the next few days will be just us in the tent. We've been fortunate so far this morning. Uh, we're not getting any rain yet. Uh, knock on some wood. But because there's been so much rain, the trail conditions are, yeah, they're pretty sloppy. Um, lots of mud and uh, lots of soft uh, ground. So we expected this though certainly because of the conditions that have been here uh, around here for the past few weeks. So we have a window of opportunity here and that's why we were getting started uh, uh, so early this morning. Um, we were trying to sort of avoid the heavier rain that's coming in this afternoon. So we were hopeful that we could get to Springer Mountain before that really gets rolling we can get our tent up and be dry and that you know as far as planning is concerned having dry gear is pretty important so if we can get to camp early enough before those heavy rains then it'll be more likely that in the morning we won't have as much wet gear and it was supposed to be extremely windy tonight up on springer so we want to make sure we get a safe spot no dead trees above us. We want to have time to look around and pick out something safe. Okay, as you can see, this is, uh, you know, coming out of the, uh, the lodge there. The approach trail is pretty much just a constant climb so far. And we're just going slow and steady and making our way. It's beautiful out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Being that it's March 1st, we really thought that uh, the trail would be, well, I don't know, pretty packed actually, because that was one of the designated days that were the busiest. And I can say right now, the weather may have played a part in it, but we don't have too many people out here with us today. When we got started yesterday, um, it was raining pretty good. And we kind of uh, determined that we made our first mistake on this trip. And that was we purchased a pair of gloves that we thought were going to be lightweight and waterproof and we did not test them before we came out here the package clearly said that it was waterproof not just water resistant but waterproof and i can tell you this that neither of them that we bought 
we're waterproof. As you can see, we're getting up in elevation here a bit more. And of course, as we go up, it gets a little thicker as far as the uh, uh, fog and so forth, the cloud coverage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful though, we just love this. The wind has picked up a bit. And uh, yeah, Trish is getting blown around a little bit. Outstanding. You can see here's a beautiful campsite. Yeah, there's one across the way too. Oh, with a maker. beautiful view. Every once in a while as you're going down the trail, you can see uh, a little cut out here. And uh, Trish had mentioned that that's a... Uh, that's an emergency stop for downhill hikers, <laughs> just like the trucks on the highway. <laughs> okay, we're at Black Gap Shelter, and uh, what well, we got in here just in time before the rain started really picking up. Start to slow down a little bit more so we can make our way. Uh, we're gonna finish it off today uh, to uh, Springer Mountain Shelter. And so hopefully the rain will stay away long enough for us to get there. Uh, doing pretty well. Wish I was a little bit more, a little bit drier. Um, but we're doing pretty good. And uh, we're going to finish this day off on a positive note. You can't, you can't see a whole lot because we are socked in. It is raining, blowing, and I haven't been able to do a whole lot of video over these past few miles. But we have made it to the top of Springer Mountain. I got tears. <laughs> it's not the rain. Look at this. Spring Mountain. Start <laughs> of the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh man. And we've had a heck of a day because the weather has not really cooperated with us. And the wind, sorry if this if you can barely hear me, the wind is really kicking. But there is our first blaze and the southernmost terminus. I'm signing in. On the Appalachian Trail. We're, we're kind of out here by ourselves because we're the only ones soup enough to be out here in this weather. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, we are in the tent. It was rainy and windy and cold. Cold and well, cold because it was rainy and windy. Yeah. Once we got past Springer Mountain, man, the weather deteriorated pretty rapid, rapidly, and uh, I couldn't do a lot more video. So we just pretty much uh, got to Springer Mountain campsite, which is where we're at right now, or the shelter here, and we set up this tent, and we just tried to get dry, get warm. Eat. Eat. <laughs> um, there was no view today. It was solid walls of clouds. So we didn't get the view, but I took a picture of a cool tree. The rain's supposed to end. I don't know about the wind. I forgot to look. And um, it's going to be cold in the morning, but it'll warm up to the 50s during the day, which should be good hiking weather. Everything's going to be kind of still wet and damp from today. So that won't be comfortable, but. It is what it is, so hopefully tomorrow we'll make it to Hawk Mountain Shelter. In the meantime, we are tired. tired. <laughs> and so we're going to sit there and just stay warm and probably fall asleep early tonight. Have a good night.